episode, again, we're going to have 2023. This episode is sponsored by Pure Gains. My boy Andrew. New drop. Link is down below. Our discount code is down below. Make sure you use that at your checkout. Get some money off and show some love. Stay tuned. Atos Alive Podcast, the most authentic, the most organic podcast out here. I got to my left my guy Dylan. Yes, Everybody sir. knows yeah, who he is. Handsome Dylan. devil. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, the one and only yeah. Dylan. That's why he's right in the middle. Yes, sir. Nice. And I'm going to let this amazing group of guys, podcasters also, introduce themselves because their intro is a lot better than my intro. <laughs> mm. so, oh, that's facts. So <laughs> I want to introduce the guys from Ponte Las Pilas. My guys, let's go. We got to do we live. Yeah. <laughs> Come no, on, no, and we no, live. No, that's, that's, that's it's your boy, I had to find IT ETR here today until that motherfucker Z. There we go. Uh, it's your boy, Gazelle. It's your boy, Lalo. It's Johnny, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to be here, Dude, finally. Finally, yeah. we finally made this happen, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I think we do, we're doing this at the most perfect time because you guys are skyrocketing. Thanks. Uh, yeah. You guys? So? <laughs> yeah, for, from the first time we met, and we got the blessing to be on, on your guys' uh, podcast, you guys is just been working bro we that was we peaked bro. yeah we yeah. peaked for you bro <laughs> it's all downhill from here he's like thanks to you we had you on we did yeah. good after that it was just a shit show bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey when are you gonna turn back bro we just want free hey, manscape shit, shit. <laughs> 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 that's the only reason we did it hey, so so let, let's get right into this how does this dynamic work so my mom started hitting me really young. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it, bro? It's trauma, dude. Yeah. It's trauma, yeah. dog. Yeah. That's, it builds you, man. Yeah. It fucking helps. That's pretty much it. Wait, wait, wait. The first time you came on, we were like, bro, uh, you, how do you fuck you be making motherfuckers cry? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm already ready, bro. Hey, give me a shot, bro. All right. Yo, Throw me a shot. The, crazy. the reason why we, we make people cry and we get Cheers. emotional, Cheers. you toast everybody. Cheers. Damn, Cheers. 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 Oh, let me get one. Let me get one. Yeah. Hey, give us one. What the hell? Yeah. Yo, hey, where's the bottle at? Where's the bottle? Cold. You want nice. a happy dad? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's right there. I'm done. Oh. This is how you, you do it. On how you doing that? How you guys sounding the headphones? Cool? You sound I think we sound good. good. Cool. I like Shout out our Geek Squad headphones. member that showed up yeah, and put all this together. Shout out to the homie over there. <laughs> <laughs> but let's start from all the, the way bottom. to the end over there. Start from the bottom now we're here. Yeah. So, what do you want? The idea of how the podcast came to be or? How did... You come to be a part of the podcast. How did this happen? I just showed up one day and I started talking. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, so what happened was originally we used to do uh, vlogs. And um, I was in charge of filming and editing and doing everything. <laughs> now I'm just playing with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm bullshit. <laughs> I was like, wait. No, 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 no we were in charge of vlogs. But if I'm being honest, they sucked. Like, they weren't, they weren't good by any means. We were all trying to follow the David Dobrik type of stencil, you know, that he had, mm. that he had done. No, we're like, oh, no we're, yeah, we were, no, we were not interesting <laughs> by any means. And we didn't have the money to back that up, you know. So uh, one day I was stressing one week. And I was like, man, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. We said we we're gonna drop a video every Wednesday, and we only did this for like a summer, so <laughs> yeah. we were stressed out, bro. <laughs> and um, finally, I don't know who it was came up with the idea, but we did a somewhat of a Q and A, you know, of all of the homies that are in the vlogs, you know, to a. Um, which is everybody here except for like a couple people yeah, that are homies. you know we dropped them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we dropped some. <laughs> we still the homies. Dropped yeah. They're still the homies, but you know yeah, yeah, yeah. they're doing yeah. their own stuff right now. Yep. So uh, we did this Q and A, uh, and it was actually Lala that came up with the idea. He's like, because the views on this one was just different. The interaction, the views were just different completely yeah, on solid. this video. <laughs> they were solid, and Lala was like, you know what? We should probably start like a something like a podcast, you know, because. This is we already do it. This is this is what you know we were good at. Our dynamic was this, let's talking, you know. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't so much what we did. It was just you I didn't. Did we it. didn't have to do anything crazy. We just had yeah. to talk. You had to be and, yourself. Yeah, exactly. Literally. Literally. So uh, I was like, yeah, we should do a podcast. And and I felt I was like, damn, that's actually a good idea, you know. So I like, hey, like here's my credit card. Let's go buy all the stuff that you're gonna need to you know to make this all happen. And yeah. We've been going ever since. Still paying so. that shit off. <laughs> yeah. Still yeah. paying that shit off. Hey, the APR on that shit is 15.99%. <laughs> yeah, so. It's because, like, honestly, bro, like, to collections. Like, like, all of us already fuck around every weekend. Like, we already fucking make jokes and all that shit. We're like, why don't we just fucking 
do the fucking podcast. Might as well make money off of like, it. Like, like you, you, you might as well. And you don't have to go anywhere like the vlogs. We fucking went to Hollywood. Yeah, Like, yeah. to go hiking. What the For, fuck? like, 40 hiking? people to see it, and that's it. I don't hike, bro. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, now it's like, okay, we're just going to kick it at Lalo's anyways and just fucking record in the studio, and we might as well just fucking do it every weekend. Like, we already do that shit, bro. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And with that, over time, the addition of, you know, the cast that we have right now is yeah. what it came to be, you know? Because at first, it was just me and him. Mm-hmm. And like I came a few times. Dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Lalo. Oh, so are you guys best friends? Nah. I think I don't even like them that much. Business oh, partners. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. That answer. <laughs> Fuck. Never mind. Wait. Uh, <laughs> so for everybody, so I believe this is like a good pod for everybody listening because everybody always wants to start a podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you mm-hmm. said y'all you, suck. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> don't Yo, do it. Y'all hey, suck. I don't want no competition. You're like you guys want to go buy the equipment. How much did you need to invest at the beginning to start one? I don't even remember. I didn't even want to look at the price. If I'm being honest with you, I think it's like fifteen. I just said, look, just charge whatever we need. I think like fifteen hundred. Yeah, it's about probably. What you need? So I just uh, we got a because the roadcast is run out yet. So we had the mi- uh, mixer. I forget what the fuck it was called. Then we had like the four uh, Audio Technica little mics, like twenty one hundred or some shit like that. Got four of them. We got the super long fucking XLRs and then just the headsets and. A bunch of clamps and shit that we never ended up using. Bunch of right. yeah. everything that everything that comes with the yeah. with the stands is I'm gonna use them. Yeah, yeah. they, they didn't have out. the bundles back four years ago. I right? know they didn't have kits now. They, they didn't have they the didn't podcast have. bundles and shit. You know how they have it four now? years ago. Yeah, yeah. That's, when. that's when they started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. these two motherfuckers. Yeah, that shit was whack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, I'm like, that shit was whack. And it's tough because like like I would pull up a few times. But yeah, it was right. tough because then when like dreams couldn't make it or whatever, I couldn't make it. It was just Lalo by himself, bro. That's it's tough to like be like, haha. Oh, and that, yeah, there, that was you know? terrible. Yeah, those were horrible. It's tough. Uh, it's tough. But I, I didn't want to like to joke around and tell us that's tough. tough. They weren't that bad. They weren't, they weren't bad. bad. No, they weren't. Bad. They Anyways, but when we went on the podcast, was Lalo I think that's when Johnny was kicked out, right? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was in Mexico. He was in his Mexico. BBL. Oh, yeah, I was in Mexico, bro. Getting his BBL. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I had a fucking uña enterrada, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? My bad. Bro. Nah, I got a BBL, we, bro. We're, And we still was, don't get a shout-out from PS Perfecto. He was cut. <laughs> he was cut, but nobody was bringing us coffee anymore, so we are like, yeah, gotta bring I him back. I guess we'll get him back. Right. Johnny got the drink. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to say, uh, first and foremost, though, thanks for having us on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. I, uh, as a fellow listener, like I know you guys, you have your core audience that always listens. I am also you. one of those fucking listeners. Same so I, I did want to, so knowing the vibe that you tend to give to these podcasts, except for with the twins, the twins was like a different, a whole other dynamic than what yeah, you used like to. It was really good, by the way. But yeah. uh, I did want to say, just just bear with us. We, we will get to your questions. But we, we're we going to say a lot of funny shit up front before we say the serious no, shit you, that you're going yeah, yeah, to ask. I just want to say, like, hold yeah. on with us, bro. Like, I, that's just how our dynamic is. And if you fuck with us, cool. And if not, I oh, think the, cool. the beauty about like just the episode of the podcast is because everybody brings who they are we can't fake this bro yeah yeah i'm an emotional dude and, and motivational dude like that's mm. what i want to be yeah cool. but but what a motivation motivation <laughs> motivation <laughs> but when you come around a certain group of people you just feed off that energy yeah mm. so like being funny yo it just comes naturally but if you try to fake it then stop. like stop you know? yeah. stop right now turn yeah. that shit off <laughs> so, yeah you have a point that's a really good point you know what i mean but for us it's usually me dylan and whatever guests we have now you got four more yeah. Fuckers. <laughs> yeah now we have a full team yeah and for us it's like all right if dylan can't make it i'm still on camera and if i can't make it he's still here but you guys make it to where you guys all come together Mm-hmm. Daily, weekly. Yeah, my girl's posted. pissed about that. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a new relationship, that's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nah. Yeah. Every, everybody that we meet, why do you always hang out with Dusko? I'm like, no, oh, we work together. What do you yeah. want me to tell you? <laughs> you hang up more with Dylan than I'm like, bro. Yeah, he's, he's fun. Yeah. <laughs> he brings everybody cool. with him. Yeah. Hey, he, he pays his bitches. half. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan got bitches. So, yeah. how, hey, how go, is that go, dynamic, go. though? How does that work? How do you guys balance that? Four people. One one show. How does that work? Take it away, Gazelle. Me? Mm-hmm. Take it away. I think he says it best. Um, I think everybody has like you have to bring something to the fucking table, right? If uh, I think I bring the fucking genius, like I'm <laughs> God s- damn. smartest person who's ever lived. Super humble. I think uh, they have number one, super humble. <laughs> Uh, also, not fucking around. No, I'm like, fuck you. I, know, I just gotta say some dick jokes and it works. <laughs> this is funny as fuck. I think he carries us the jokes. For sure. Johnny, we need everybody needs I'll a bring the guy coffee. Uh, <laughs> cool. Lalo's Lalo's I'll bring the talent. big brain. You know what I'm saying? Laughs at everything. And uh, he, he has the he has the pad. We can go meet up at. <laughs> yeah. Lalo brings the pad. 
<laughs> no, can we throw the mic? <laughs> so everybody just put, puts their own part. Into yeah, it. bro, you have to. You know? I feel like, like with me personally, I feel like what I bring to the table is I bring that different coffee. opinion. Nah. They're interrupting. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I bring the different opinion than these foods. I feel like for the most part, they yeah. usually agree with each other. I say, no, fuck that. I don't agree. And I'm not faking it. I'm being real. I'll say when I agree with them. Yeah, I you've you always don't. been like that he's too. A they're different. Yeah, yeah he's a contrarian. That's I, I just like, no, I don't believe in it. Contrarian. What do you guys ever get down? I got it wrong. I'll be the shit out of Johnny, though. I, if I give him a chance, <laughs> yeah, I'll be the shit out of Johnny. All these foods ass, no cap. <laughs> I'm just waiting to switch up on my homies. Yeah, Johnny get laid the fuck out, bro. I don't know what he even making up to the ring. I've seen you eat a jack and get full. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I'll catch you lagging in the parking lot. I ain't trying to fight Gazelle straight up, bro. We don't fight fair, bro. I ain't trying to fight any of you. I'll bite you, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bite the fuck. I'll grab your wee wee, fool. I don't care, bro. Me and this fool almost got into it once. Cause yeah. he fucking he wore a fuck he wore stupid ass overalls. Oh bro. thanks. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, before it was trendy though. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be like, fair, what are those? I'm a you know? bro. Yeah, it's stupid when they wear clothing and hey. especially when they repeat it. I, yeah. Yeah, that shit. Hey, low key. Shout out to Never Tyson. repeated it after that. But yeah, he wore he those fucking overalls around the homie. You know when you wear some dumb shit around the homies, they're gonna call you out on it. They call me Farmer John. Farmer <laughs> John. Old McDonald's. So, yeah, so yeah, I guess yeah. the jokes got to a point with him, right? And we they call me Opportunity the rapper. Well, it was crazy. <laughs> I was fed up. And then it, it didn't help that we went to, what happened was, we went to Jack in the Box with all the homies. And what, what did I say that? that pushed Hold you on, let me get to it. So, bomb ass bitches um, came out of some. Shout out to our girls. They were, they were at a party, you know, like it was this way before them, you yeah. know? And uh, he's, <laughs> and Gazelle's like, yeah, like we should, ho- we could have hollered at him, but Dreams is wearing these <laughs> dumb ass overalls. <laughs> At that point, I just pushed I'm, the phone. Like, get the fuck off me, <laughs> He pushed the fuck out of me, dog. That was it. And right, low key, I brought a tear to my eye. For I was like, why would you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> he plays the victim. Yeah. yeah. But, but after that, like, we didn't, we never really, like, fought any shit. But if we did, I'd fuck all these fools up. No but I think me. that helps, too, in our dynamic, how you ask is because we're very honest with each other. Yeah. We're very, oh, yeah. we're going to call you out about our own yeah. stuff, you know? And we all have to kind of just sit there. And kind of own up to it a little bit because because it's, it's three versus one. <laughs> <We're being honest. laughs> and but it, it's it, like, it, it really humbles you, bro. Because like I'll fucking feel like I'm hitting the gym for a few days. I feel like I'm getting there. He's like, "Hey, what's up, fat fuck? Cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going." Just rolls off the tongue. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I mean, but I think what James alluded to is like accountability. Every, every now and again, like one of us will fuck up. And then having the other foods to be tell you like, "Hey, fool, you know what? You're fucking up." Yeah. That's 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 good, bro. Because you can't think you're. Hot stuff all the damn time. You really can't. Yeah, so you don't talk, make a mistake. So that that's one of the things that I I would want to um, <clears throat> get into. And and really briefly before we get into the more fucking around, um, how do you working with your friends? How do you make it into a business? How do you be about the business? Because like you said, <laughs> sometimes you got to hold yourself accountable. Me and him have conversations a lot where it's like, yo. Yeah. We got to be doing this, and if you're not doing this, or he tells me if I'm not doing something serious or messing up somewhere, and sometimes it does get to you like, damn, fool, what the fuck? Yeah. Why you got to tell me? Yeah. And then it's like, no, nah, never mind, bro. We're a team. This is what it's about. Yeah, I think it's just separating up just the business itself and then just your friendship aside. Yeah. And <clears throat> uh, act, uh, when he's speaking to me, like, something about the business, which is the podcast, because it is like a fucking legit yeah. business. It it's is. like, I believe you're mm-hmm. in this too. Yeah. No, it's a legitimate business. It's um, it's one thing where I, I will ask him about like soccer. He'll be like, shut your dumb ass up, right? Where I say, if I'm talking to him about the podcast, I'm like, you can no longer like say shit like that. Like, you can still say it, but you got to make sure like, you know, we know, understand it's coming off as a joke. Yeah. They're like, bro, that's a dumb ass idea. Because I've, 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 well, I'm going to admit, I've just said it <coughs> before to, Pretty, pretty much all three of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's stupid as fuck. And that's, it's like, yeah. and you're having an idea for a, the part, it's not, and I'd be like, it's stupid as fuck. And it's like, I gotta tone it down and be like, hey, bro, like, yeah. it, let's let's try to work around that idea, you know, rather than, and it's just like understanding like the little things. Cause we have all, we've, we've already all had like the bickerments. We've had like the serious talks of cutting people. We've had like, you know, we, we, we just, we all, we all get together and like it's a collective, like, you know, thought Effort. process through everything. And it makes you yeah. think, well, it's kind of like a like a second opinion in a way. Like, if I, I'll, I'll sometimes shoot ideas and like, you know what, like maybe we do this for like, when we have a website and we want to upload videos on there and shit. Because sometimes I'll be like, how about we play a game and do this? Or like, we'll save that for the, the Patreon and stuff like that. Like, you know what, that is a good idea. That's more, it's kind of like a second opinion, bro. It really helps. It does help. Yeah, because I think he's alluding to something like he, he said, like, oh, let's play Monopoly. And I'm like, yeah, that's going to go well over for the audio listeners. 
You know, yeah. exactly. And see, <laughs> and I don't think of shit. Something, and same with them. It kind of makes you think twice. And not see, just but my first instinct thing. is like, yeah, that's gonna go fucking well over, you dumbass, for the audio. You know, I, that, that's my, as a as a homie. But yeah. as, a, as your as a business partner, like, and I can't get like, offended. I'm like, it's not my fucking homie just telling yeah. me shit. Yeah. By the way, that happened. Now. That's how I said it so yeah. perfectly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah. So it, it really it really does help to like kind of help each other and I can't just get offended and shit. It's like it's not Lalo telling me shit. It's literally my business partner telling me shit. Yeah. That's true. But especially because of the dynamic you guys have. It's four of you guys. It's not like it's just one one guy podcasting and then the rest are just there, right? Like coming in whenever they want. Mm-hmm. Literally mm-hmm. your podcast is all four of you guys. Mm-hmm. So there there is always a big sacrifice that comes with this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, the, it's big. Me and him, we've said it a lot on this podcast. I've always talked about it, but you guys have never talked about this. Really, like, got into it. So, yeah. for each one of you guys, what's what did you have to sacrifice in order to be here four years later? Mm-hmm. Start with Lalo. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm trying with? to think. Of, I'm trying to think. You got something already? Or? I have it. You, you, you go ahead, Johnny. I, I have something too. Right? I'll, I'll say weekends. I, I'll say literally weekends. Um, for me personally, I only see my girl on the weekends. So for me, not seeing her or to, just <clears throat> just wanting, I'll be I'll be real. I'm me sleeping at home, like like that kind of shit makes me really fucking uh, change shit up. It goes from fucking waking up at two p.m. to hey, you gotta be here at nine thirty, and I'll, I'll be late a lot of times. I'm not lie, yeah. but like nice. it, it really nice. changes nice. shit up to like being you gotta be here on time because it's a job. It's not just coming with homies to hang out and drink. It is, but it's also <laughs> uh, the business. <laughs> yeah, like, you're pulling up to record, bro. Like, yeah, you have yeah. to be here. It's a job. You're, well, why are you late to this, but not late to your job? It's the same thing, I'm late bro. to that shit, too. No yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, like, you shouldn't. Like, yeah, this yeah, shit yeah. should be a priority. And these foods have told me, it's a priority, and you have to make, like, sacrifices. And that, that comes with not seeing my girl a lot of times, not being at home, sleeping like I fucking want to, and all that shit. So a lot of times, like today, not eating breakfast. Like, it, it, all that I'm shit sacrificed. Me too. I'm fucking hungry. I want some fat ass <laughs> wings right now. Like, it's <laughs> true. And, Wait, like, so that's the kind of shit. You, you, shit into a you, brought up, you brought up your relationship. Yeah. So did that cause issues too? Not being at first, maybe kind of like my girl's just being bummed out. I feel like me personally, my girl's always been, like, understanding, kind of like, Oh, she never took a person. She's like, she's always told me, you should go to the podcast, do this first. Like, it's okay. But I'm sure for a lot of people, it's kind of tough and all that. But it does make her feel bad and be like, dang, like, we're not going to hang out. Like, okay. <clears throat> but she understands. Um, yeah, pretty much family time. Because, uh, you know, events happen. Or it's, every, it's like a, like every Saturday. And we record Saturdays. Like, we record on Saturday mornings, if you guys have been there. Yeah. We record or in the afternoon. Yep. And uh, that's when it's like a family thing. If we got to shoot doubles that day, we're up from 10 a.m. to maybe 6, 7 p.m., you know, shooting two episodes. Because yeah. then the next week we got something planned, whether that's something else for the fucking business or, like, to hang out somewhere. You sacrifice that day. And you can't, you know, like, I, I can't tell my sister, like, hey, could you postpone my niece's first birthday? I missed my niece's first birthday that uh-huh. I do the podcast because I, I had to shoot, like, a double, I think. I think we had like a malfunction or something or some shit. Yeah. And we had to record it. We recorded a whole episode of that thing and then it messed up and then we had to record it again. So how did that make you feel though? It, it was, it was, it was a, you know, it's, it bums you out because it's like your niece's first fucking birthday and then like everyone's there, your family, and then you already know it, being Hispanic and shit, you're going to get like the chismosos. Like, oh, mm-hmm. he, thinks Where's the better, he thinks better than everybody else is doing his own shit. It's just like, Back well, like but you got to sacrifice <laughs> it. Yeah, okay, but I'm sac- but I'm, yeah, <laughs> low key, like they be right. If <laughs> I am, I am better than them. But <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, are too. Yeah. And we're here yeah. to keep you humble, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, like we sacrifice that shit right now. So like later in the future, you you can you can do. I'll be there for all of them. I'll be I'll be there for all. Fuck them. I still won't be there, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> unless them over unless, the unless we stay stagnant as fuck and we're still trying to pursue that. <laughs> That's right. I believe yeah, yeah, yeah. it, bro. I really it. Yeah. Gazelle, same shit, bro. It's like, but you know what? To be honest, go fuck yourself. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like Fact. this is my fucking. <laughs> Look, he's been nah, I'm kidding. Uh. Yeah, same thing though. You guys know, like, well, Dylan does it because Dylan got bitches. That's you facts. Know? That's facts. <laughs> but, That's facts. But when you're in a it's relationship, a bitch on his dick right now. Yeah, but if she's too yeah, small, yeah. you can't <laughs> see. <laughs> Chill it. Now, but like, yeah, same thing. Like, Move. if I could, you spend more time <laughs> with my. I spend more time with my family and my lady, everybody. You know, so even the dogs and shit. I probably pet them, probably give them food. But, <laughs> <laughs> but just that was so specific but, and random. Yeah, right? I'll feed them tomorrow. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. the door. You know what's some bullshit food? Like, by the way, I still live with my parents. If you don't, <laughs> get your bread up. <laughs> get your bread down. Why? I, can live, with, I me. can live on my own, but you know what? My bread up. <laughs> <laughs> Yours? Nope. Nope. Uh, no, I'm kidding. But you, you got know, bills. Like, <laughs> couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. 
You, you don't get a dad. tax refund? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Credit Karma for the one one. Uh, <laughs> my dad claims me. They give me two. My debt to income nah, ratio. But you, wow. you know, some, I help the household. Some bullshit. Like, my parents will leave to God knows where and shit. Um, and then, like, they'll, they'll be like, hey, have you fed the dogs? I'm like, hey, yo, that's cool. Your son still exists. <laughs> you know Did you eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy how they up. care more about the dogs than you. Yeah, fuck it, yeah, bro. Shout out Fluffy. Fuck those dogs. That's the homie. Um, I love them too. But uh, yeah, no, same thing. Like, you, I, if I wish I could spend more time. But honestly, bro, I think here's what I really feel. I think as men, and then when you hear like really successful men talk, they say like anybody who's successful, they sacrifice, bro. And if you're just wasting time... On the weekends and shit, you're not really gonna get nowhere with this. Like you have to be putting in the fucking the two more hours that the other other podcasters are putting in, you know? That's the way I see it. Like even when I'm not working on shit that that um like let's say I'm not physically editing or I'm not we're not recording or something, bro. You better be looking up videos on like how you can fucking Literally, yeah. fix up. You gotta keep doing your homework. Get smarter and shit. You better be looking at what other people are doing too to stay ahead of the game type shit, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, but I think like if you want to be successful in shit, successful in this shit, like you're gonna fucking you gotta sacrifice. And, and by the way, like I remember when I was younger, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like my pops is never around, you know? Yeah. My pops is never Same. around. That food's always working <laughs> for different reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. you want to go? Oh, yeah. uh, you want to cry? Yeah. You wanna cry? Yeah. Let's get this shit crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I like. So, so much your dad, dad, or what? Yeah, yeah. He did. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, no, but go on, go on, go on. Go on. I don't oh, no, 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 you're right. You're going, you're going. Yeah. Now we can talk about that. I like that part. Nah, well, I mean, it wasn't a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> the Illuminati had to take his out of that. Nah, but... For his yeah, rapping yeah, career. There's plenty no, of sacrifices. How many, yeah. how, how many times do you really hear, like, let's be like, how many times do you hear, like, women complain oh, about the how their, uh, how their uh, man wasn't around for the kids? Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But at the same time, Hey, you got milk in the fridge? You know what I'm saying? Like, are the bills paid? Uh, you like your car? Yeah. You know? Aye, aye. <laughs> 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 hey, you can, you can no, lie no, at him no, by himself. I, 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 I was right by him, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. He was giving him comfort. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You were giving him a comfort. Like, yeah. 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 Hey, right, man. hey, welcome back to the Andrew Tate podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tater Tots. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tater Tots. Fluffy Duffy Dudes. No, I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, I don't know. Uh, when I was younger, I blamed my dad for a lot of shit. Like, oh, this was never around. Like, he never, he wouldn't really go to games and shit. Like, soccer games, and you'd be bad. But look around, fool. Look, everything, look at everything you got, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. to, to be honest, that's yeah. because my dad fucking sacrificed fucking Desolados, bro. days in, days out, always working, trying to make a better life for his family. So my point was... Like, I think we're all doing this shit because I'm sorry, like, <clears throat> if, if you have a woman in your life, she doesn't feel that pressure to be like, oh, I'm going to, I got to provide for this family innately. I'm saying like innately. I'm sure so a lot of women do. They feel that pressure. But I feel for the most part, like us naturally, we're always like, if we got a family, you know, Luis, like, yeah. I'm going to provide for this family, bro. Like, nobody's going to fucking put food on that table for you don't even feed the dog <laughs> fuck that dog I'm just saying he's not in the family Wait, I'm saying that, that if, if tomorrow hopefully not tomorrow but that, <laughs> that in like years from now if I have a fucking family I'm gonna be that guy you know what I'm saying and right. that's why we're in here this bitch he's, he's gonna be, yeah, he's gonna be the guy lady drink. Drink. it's true I'm beyond my himbalins I'm him, <laughs> him. Bro, come back a little bit what's up you said innately what the fuck does that mean yeah 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 I don't know don't be bringing that college shit hey Siri <laughs> the fuck was, was I don't do that. that I think I talked to another Just response. I feel about that. But like you're dead. <laughs> I want to know what that what, means. What? Leave it in the comments if you know what that means. Because I don't know what the fuck. No, Drop some tombstones down below. You know. We just we're, we're just nodding like if we fucking yeah. understood you. We're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, but what he says is right though. Like naturally. And, naturally. and oh, okay, cool. For every just say that. Just just say like in every family, bro. If you start going away because you start you're working on something <clears> bigger, then it's like, oh, bro, like. When are you going to come around? Oh, he doesn't care anymore. He changed. It's like, yo, it's, I'm not doing this so I can live good for next week. I'm doing this so I can live better and, and good and be more around at when this shit pays off, whether it's in a year, two, three years. Exactly. Every successful person has been in business for years. Yeah. Has failed and succeeded within a span of 10 years. You don't really have your breakout year until two, three years later. But if you give up when this, this shit wasn't popping off, Mm -hmm. then how the fuck are you going to find out, like, hey, this does work? Yeah. That's what we did last year, the whole year in 2022, is 
we took a chance in LA and that was missing events. That was missing quality time with our significant others and loved ones and <laughs> sisters, brothers, whatever, whatever it was, we have to go and do this. Yeah. So you had said you had missed your, niece's first your niece's first birthday. I missed my niece's birthday and I'm her Nino because mm -hmm. we had to go to San Diego. That's to what you're an somebody. asshole. Damn, bro, you're a dick for sure. Hey, no, but bro. Gas Lamp was lit though, so I ain't <laughs> playing with you. I was in a Gas Lamp. Nah, 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 I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. But, uh, what, it, what ended up happening is we planted a seed six months ago. Yeah. Huh? You said what and who? Mm, kind of seen it me, <laughs> daddy. Mm. You got some girls out there, huh? Oh, no. What's her name? Some bitch right now is watching this shit like <laughs> this right now. Plant it here. No, we plant, plant this one. We planted a seed with Chris. <laughs> we planted a seed with Chris. So when we came back a couple months later, everything paid off even more. Yeah. So we got to sit down with some millionaires. We got to sit down with... That's just crazy. Crazy. Congrats, bro. I appreciate dope. that. But, you know, hopefully no kids come out because that's yeah. why I did make my two babies. One oh, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My first son was made in San Diego. I'll say that now. That's it. Right Shamu. next to Shamu. <laughs> Shamu, <laughs> guys. Right in, right I wouldn't want to have it anywhere right else, bro. Yeah, right in yeah. Gas Lamp. Damn. <laughs> there, there you go. Right in the middle of Little Little D. Right yeah, in you guys be sacrificed a lot, though. Y'all yeah. drive, drive out here? Yeah. Every, that? Every Don't ever ask bro. us to come out here again, bro. <laughs> I would never ask you. That is dope. It's a dope experience. Yeah, you know? it, it is different, man. You know what? It And we talked about it when we were at the gym, bro, this late night talk. Facts. It's, yeah, you heard that at the gym. When you get out of the fucking comfort zone, that's when like you gotta push forward, <clears throat> because now it's I think where where people don't understand some some of them about podcasting and being this type of element is you have to be available if you want to get guests on. So yesterday we were talking to someone about because they're gonna do like a podcast on their own. I was like, yo, like sometimes you this is what worked for us and what I see working for others is you have a co-host, most of them have guests, and it's you feed off this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. like you know? I could be here by myself, and I'm just gonna be like, "Welcome, <clears throat> I had a good week. How was your week?" Yeah, mm. that's well, just like, fire. Low that's key. it, bro. Yeah. Like, you, you hear about shit? <laughs> like, that's hey, fire, my fault. My, actually, can you say that on our podcast? Yeah, I'm about we to need subscribe. some content. That's just a fire. Yeah, nah, you really be spitting, bro. <laughs> See, it's so hard for him to keep it serious. I, know, I don't want to fight, fool. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, let really. him, we let him talk for too much, bro. His, that's it, fool. The yeah. tears are coming out. I cried on fucking uh, Avatar. I don't want to talk about it, but... Yeah. Just, Marley and me. Uh, yeah, no. Marley and me. Click. Click is sad. Click. I am legend. That was sad. He kills a dog. Uh, he, he kills, kills a dog. dog. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, but real quick... Don't ruin it. Not to, not to derail what you were saying, but um, what you said about changing and shit, like, you're right about that, though. And uh, people are always like, oh, like, you've changed, you know? Like... You're supposed to. Throughout life, you're, you're supposed growing. to change. You're supposed to evolve into the next stage and shit of life. It's like a goldfish food. Like, you put that motherfucker in a small ass bag, it's only gonna grow so big. Yeah. You put it in another, you put it in like a bowl, it's gonna grow bigger. It, you put it in the ocean, that's just gonna get Yeah, And that's actually where our next where our next topic is gonna go. Is like there was this there was this fish. Now imagine. <laughs> no, no, but it's like you would you have to adapt to your environment and you're like, people are like, you changed and you're like, yeah, I'm supposed to. You're yeah. supposed to yeah. change. I can't keep nausing it, fool. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my brain cells are dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true, because I... <laughs> my head... My head never knows. Look at Dylan. My head... He's like, last weekend, fuck. Yeah. No, <laughs> I got to in the balloon. Yeah. No, way. You're hey. supposed to change. It's you true. don't owe hey, anybody. One for, one for five or three for ten. What's up? Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, that, that, that's in the, at the high school party. Don't that's how, that's how that's I got the, the girls. Yeah. Yeah. You, walk with, you walk with two or three right there. Facts. I would never hit it, but I would walk around and the girls would just come through, bro. Yeah. 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 Let's, let's, take, let's take that 30 minute break. I'm sure. Bit I'm, more, I'm but going to Costco. This goes hard. Costco keeps the cost. It'll cost your life, fool. Yeah, I'm I'm honestly, you. bro, you could keep I'm it. Sure. People ain't gonna drink it. Everyone's gonna go for the uh, eggs. I'm going for that shit. <laughs> you guys could keep it on the pod. Everyone's going, for, the Everyone's going for the eggs. I'm going for that shit. You guys all good? Ready? That one's right. on two. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. We're good. So you um. <clears throat> so you I, I, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> let him, let him right, take Johnny, it. Go ahead, Johnny. Go ahead, Johnny. Let him oh. take. Let him ask what he wants to ask. Go. go, go oh go. me? Oh yeah. okay, cool. Okay, thanks. Um, so I've seen that you like post a bunch of advice and you know give a lot of like consejos to people. So have you uh ever given like a, not not bad advice, but I guess maybe advice that somebody hasn't taken or you know they're not gonna fucking take it daily. Uh, <laughs> daily, but I stop, bro. <laughs> like, I don't mind giving you the answers to the fucking test yeah. of what we've been doing, and I'm only gonna give you what I have what I have done. Yeah. Like, I could give you what has worked for us here in this show, in this podcast. Yeah. Social media part. I could give you that. 
But when I know you're not serious and all you ask me is, bro, how'd you do it? What do you use? <clears throat> I stop my conversation. I'm like, yo, go do your research. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got to research that because that becomes your work and your knowledge mm. that if you go out and you start doing hours of research, like, bro, that means something to you. Instead of someone just giving you the answer, you know, okay, well, I'll start whenever. True. Nah, what the fuck? This isn't, this isn't a pick up and choose when that, <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> whenever we feel like it. No, to, we literally slept three, four hours, bro, and we're still here because we made a commitment and we love this shit. <laughs> Yeah. Like, there's, there's, bro, coming out to L.A. and trying to create content, there's a lot that comes with it. Yeah. And you have to have a certain type of balance, mm -hmm. meaning you're gonna, we're going to record right now, we're going to do this show. Later, we're going to go have fun. But if I know I got to be up tomorrow at this time, uh, like, there that. has to be a balance, bro. Yeah. And I know if I go out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sacrifice something, and I cannot make the excuse of why I couldn't come today. Yeah. Like if today we were hungover and I t and I hit you guys up, knowing what is taking you guys already to come this way. Oh yeah, yeah. And I hit you guys up. Sorry, bro, I'm not gonna make it today. Let's reschedule. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That'd be some bullshit. Yeah, be like, <coughs> thanks. I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys had to have it, by the way. Thank it's, God. It's happened to. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Has it happened with guests? We Where had people it. Cancel on you? We've only yeah. had it one time and one time only. Call them out. And <laughs> nah, okay, okay, okay. You hear that, Joey Did you Lopez? end up working with them again, or that nah, was nah, never, never hit them up. Okay, uh, I, I don't, you I don't your feel, shot, bad, I don't, Brad Pitt. I don't feel the necessity <laughs> to hit anybody up when you're ready, when I'm giving you the opportunity. Mm. And don't get me wrong, they may be bigger than us, but I'm giving you the opportunity to speak your mind on this platform where your platform is not meant for that, mm. right? So yeah. if I gotta ask, if I ask you once or a couple of times, and you tell me yes, and this is the day we're coming. And then you fail to be there, bro, I'm never going to go back. It's like a relationship, bro. How many times are you going to get cheated on by your fucking girl? Like 10 I'm going to keep listening. <laughs> yeah. and then After what, the sixth one, she's going to change. Hey, and then what, what's, what's the thing? I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I love you. I won't do it again. Back. Yeah. I, I believe her. Yeah. I believe her. Yeah. I believe her. Yeah. Right? Just sound sincere. I believe her. <laughs> bro, flip the script. Cheat yeah. on her. Yeah. Oh. Man, yeah. Yeah. Johnny, you're a dick. Nah, you're a dick. You're like, Yo, an asshole. Straight I'm up. A, it's I'm only a cuck anyway. Yeah. So... My thing is, why am I going to give time and effort into somebody that's not going to value this? Yeah. That's facts. I'm, nice. I'm done with it. I'm done, true, I'm true, done true. trying to feed other people that are not <clears throat> hungry anymore. If it's your fuck up, like if you're the one that canceled, it's your, I feel like it's your responsibility to reach back to the other person and be mm -hmm. like, all right, this day works for me. I'm sorry about this day, but this day I can make it. Yeah. But a lot of times they're just waiting for you to uh, hit them back up. It's happening with us, bro. Everybody. A lot, of a lot of times it's happening where they're waiting for you to just hit them back up. And yeah. Say, hey, so we're going to do this or what? It's like, where they, it's like, nah, they, you let me know when people you People feel like you you need them. And in yeah. reality, bro, we're a, a guest-based podcast, but I don't need you. Mm. Uh, if you don't want to, for somebody else will. And then that one other person will make more of an impact. Because, like, bro, if you're, if you're literally have all the bad you don't have the right intentions you're just a bad person you're not going to be impactful in this world bro like in whatever the case is everybody has their own lane you guys have a certain lane that you guys are literally succeeding in this shit <coughs> thank you really doing this like there's a reason why you sat down with these big comedians there's a reason why you guys have been going strong for four years it's not because you guys gave up and said well we don't get all the love you guys kept going and going until that one video just blew up Thank you. And bro. then you took that one video and it went. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, bro. Yeah, 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 he's just talking you, about bitch. himself, bro. And then you, you took all our content and ran out with it. I mean, that was crazy because I didn't get collaborated yeah. on that post. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. I want to talk to your manager. Shots by the way, we don't collaborate with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, honestly, you true, though. Why, though? I didn't, I, get, feel, I didn't uh, even get tired. That was crazy. Now you did. You did no, on TikTok. Yeah, but, but it's not like what you said, like those feelings. It's not like those feelings weren't present either, you know? Like there's definitely times where we're like, how the fuck these people get this person, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. there's going to be those feelings, but you just got to fight through that. I understand, like, um, Gazelle said, I actually said it before, is like, you know, you can't take anything, anything personal in this business, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing at all you can take personal. All you can do is like, all right, I'm not there yet, and just, just keep moving forward moving until you're forward. there. Yeah, like, hey, bro, that's on me and my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tag you in it. <laughs> it's honestly true. Like, let, let me tag you right now. Let me go tag you. That shit had like over a million plays, and I did not get tagged. No, that that like shit got million. They just, they just, they, million, bro. Hey, hey I'll tag you right now. Hey, hey how many years, bro? Hey, they, they, they just, they just thought I was just a random guy gardener outside. Hey, can we talk about how his TikTok ain't even in dark mode? Kind of bullshit. <laughs> you a serial no, killer? No, I don't have that either. What are you doing? Nah, but you know what? It in this this thing, you're not gonna make everybody happy. Yeah, and 
whether you like it or not, I got to keep going, bro. So I know you guys do a lot of things that some people ain't, don't get happy. <laughs> you, you guys say what needs to be said, and you guys say it in your own way. That's facts. And you guys don't apologize for it. I don't apologize for nothing I say. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever is said right here, take it how you want. Like, right. it's how you listen to it. It's what you're thinking in your head. And mm -hmm. you start, if you start playing 10 other fucking scenarios of what I just said, bro, that's on you. Yeah. Go fight yourself. I ain't, I ain't gonna yeah. beg you. And it is true because you do give that platform to people to like be able to like speak and shit. Because when we first pulled up, I, I asked you on the side, I was like, is there anything you want us to, to like not say? I don't say want me? you to talk. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and he was like, he was like hey, just shut up for a week. No, just, like straight up to the, like, Hold what he said card. was, you guys can say anything you guys want. Like, you're fine. Like, it is a platform that not everybody provides. Like, us too. Like, we're like Richard Villa too. Like, he was like, hey, like, is there, any, we asked him, is there anything you want to say? No, like, it's cool. Like, you could say whatever you want to hear, bro. Like, it's cool. It's free of speech. Yeah. Well, also, it's like, if we're being serious, like, as far as, like, we never apologize for anything because it's, what the fuck is an apology? Like, I'm still me at the end of the day, and it's something that you don't like about me regardless. So, like, what the fuck is there to apologize about? And then people don't, people, like, when you apologize, people are always like, well, that's just not good enough anyway. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, they well, look for more well, shit like, for you to so apologize. Like, when I feel it? like you, should, when have, you, should, you should apologize when you truly, inside of you, feel like, yeah. damn, I fucked up. That's when you apologize. You apologize you know when that's not going to be you anymore. Like, yeah. you don't need, like, whatever. Those people are going to have that perception of you regardless. So it doesn't, but you're apologizing for yourself. So you, because you know that you fucked up. So. I'm letting you guys know that I know that I fucked up. I'm not doing this for you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I like, don't owe you, you just shit. have to, you keep becoming a better person. It's like, that's all you can really do. You can't just say, oh, sorry, but. At the know. end of the day, bro, all my friends here, because they're all my friends since second grade, since high school, I didn't fuck with him. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just, kid, did. just kidding. I, did, I, I, was, I didn't even know him like that, but since second, yeah. since second grade, these two, and then yeah. I really got to know him in high school. Mm -hmm. But my, I know that my friends are uh, bad people to the core. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're really good people. And, if you hang out with us long enough during the podcast, like the whole the the way it's shot, it's just so like that you feel like you're sitting in with the homies. It's not for us, like a lot of these internet kids nowadays. Like they want to be liked by the people. I'm we're not giving you that. We're giving you how I would talk with my homies normally in a fucking garage, in the studio, in a garage. <laughs> but now you're getting to look at it, and honestly, it's like if you like it, stay, and if you don't, don't. But yeah. like if you stay long enough, and you hear like when we actually have like the deep conversations about like. Serious shit. Yeah, the jokes get in there because that's just how we were all brought up, that's saying the fucking jokes. But at the end of the day, we do have a serious conversation. We do have serious, but um, the serious conversations don't get really that much clicks. So we do like, like so, so the so the clip that you'll see is us saying like, oh yeah, just bore all of them, yeah. bore all the babies, and then like that's the one that people are like, damn, what the fuck? And it's like, but if you listen, like we we just vaguely you? mentioned that, and then we were serious about like your decisions and the choices that you have. Was there ever a one point for you guys that you guys thought that maybe that lane that you guys took was not the right one? Because of like I mean, the feedback no. or backlash, whatever you guys were getting. Mm, not no, really. Nah. I think it's because we're just true to ourselves. Really. Like, like being myself. Yeah, we're all our really our true selves. And if I said something on there, it's it's obviously like in a joking manner. Um, to my homies, my homies know that. Like if we say some foul shit, even on the episodes, like I don't know if Gazelle cuts them out or not, but we have like checked each other. And we're like, all right, bro, chill. Like that. Because if like, something's too soon or something's too like you know, because we are like we we're, we're very a comic base people like we watch comedies and shit and so like i think in comedy i don't think they believe is, uh, there's like a window of time for anything right yeah. or some shit like mm -hmm. everything's yeah. just like free games just sit yeah. but we try to like spit like all right bro it's chill, it's a little too early you like know? now people are people try to silence that voice <clears throat> you yeah. you literally feel a certain <clears throat> way about a certain topic or event mm -hmm. and people feel like because you feel like that though that is not right you shouldn't yeah. feel that but it's like nah bro everybody in their life in their world in their mind is entitled to it Mm. Yep. You just do what you please, and if the next person, if the person next to you doesn't feel that way, so be it, bro. Yeah. If we were all the same, then we would not grow as as people. Facts. If yeah. me and him were the same, then we we would just yeah. be yes men and and fuck mm -hmm. up somewhere. True. And that's yeah. why I give Lalo his flowers, honestly, for that because he's never tried to switch up the platform in that sense. Yeah. We've never. He's never tried. And at the end of the day, like, yeah, we're all in a partnership as a business, but that's a CEO, like. Yeah, so that's how it goes. Oh, that's daddy. Yeah, that's a happy dad right there. That's who he is. But that's it's like he's never, he's never like sw try to switch up the platform Facts. and be like, <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> I'll just deep throw to your mic. You're gonna have to watch it. The dick and I get the balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just lube up the ball. Like, just grab it. Just touch it a little bit. Johnny gets the gooch. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck do I get the ass? You <laughs> like, like it. it man. You're the no, one that's being an ass. Uh, you get his toes. Nice. Nah. But it's like we've. Down. He's never tried to switch up the platform to accommodate for other people. Yeah. yeah. So it's fuck something that people. is respect. That's why our podcast is respected in that regard. Bro, let's keep it a buck. Like, you think everyone's fucking funny? Like, you don't think... There's comedians that I have seen on Netflix. I'm like, how the fuck did you land this shit? But that's not for me to be like, oh, you're not funny. It's just not your shit. It's just yeah. not funny to you, my Sorry. boy. So that's, that's the way, like, I look at our podcast. Like, hey, yeah. you know, we make a fucking certain uh, demographic of people fucking laugh. That's cool with me, bro. I don't need to have all the, we don't need to have all the fucking followers in the damn world. Not everybody yeah. needs to find this funny. At the end of the day, we're going to fucking say what we think is funny. What we, what we, we're just silly, bro. We're a silly group of people. I'm not trying to come to everybody. Bro. And like, and like, then is. here's the thing too. Like people who, if you like, it's happened to us, right? Where you get hate and shit and they're like, oh, these motherfuckers, they're not funny or whatever. Right? Like that's not something to joke jokes about. Jokes are supposed to be funny. You know, yeah. like, okay, like, for example, like, I've, I've well, you guys did. have seen it, like, I've said shit like, oh, you know, I fucking get home and I hit my girl. You think, <laughs> why is that funny? It's funny because it's not fucking true and it, that's yeah, just exactly. ridiculous. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. You like, oh my God, I can't be believe like, he's a woman there. the dishes <laughs> fucking, like, no, that's not yeah. reality. This girl would dip if that happened, bro, and something she hasn't, that, so. Something that's been really lost and especially with social media and stuff and, like, Twitter especially is intention. People don't understand intention. What are your intentions? Ultimately, that's the only thing that matters. Is your intentions good? Are your intentions to be, you know, a menace or are they to make you laugh? That's all that matters, honestly, when you look at any piece of content. But I think because, you know, it's social media, you only look at it as words. You don't understand yeah. what kind of tone there is to it. Motherfuckers start reading it in their head differently. But that <laughs> speaks to them and how, like, their mind works and stuff. You took it this way when you didn't even understand how I said it. Like, if I said... You suck dick. Wow. If I type that out on Twitter, you suck dick or some somebody, right? They get pissed, but if I say you suck dick, now that changes everything. That, how mm. I said it changes so everything. Mm. The tone, the intentions, something that gets yeah. really overlooked in this space, regardless. Yeah. And it's like, who are you to say what someone's intentions are? Yeah. You're only that person's only that person knows. Only that person is in their head if they know like this is what I meant by it. So who's anybody to say anything about that? Yeah, I'm a firm believer. Make this a clip. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I'm a firm, and I'm a firm believer of uh, everyone's like uh, entitled to their own opinion, right? Yeah. But I also believe that everything could be said nicely. There's a nice way to put everything. It's the same way like when you work retail, you nicely tell a person to go fuck themselves because they're pissing you off now. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a nice way to say that. We don't have any no beads here, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah she like, I worked you know, at a weird ass Target for him. Yeah. Just gonna say that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a nice way to put shit. Yeah. So, like, when uh, if something somebody says something you don't like, like, you can just just say it in a nice... If you don't like something, say it to that person in a nice way. Don't be like, well, that's fucking stupid. The same way, like, we get we get shit on for, like, a joke that we... It's a joke. Like, if you go and watch the episode, the joke is... A, it's usually Our a joke. Our know we're joking. I know, but that's the, the point is, like, people who don't know us, who don't know us that see us on their For You page, yeah. that, that they take it all personal, they'll write something hateful. There's... Kudos to the people who like be like, yo, like, I'm all for comedy, but I didn't like, you know, the way that you, because that's the way that you approach it. Not like, hey, you fucking beaners aren't fucking funny. You go, f it's another fucking yeah. mix with a fucking yeah, mic. Yeah, and yeah. There's something a guy has is a fucking audacity to be fucking stupid. All 2023, a guy shouldn't have a mic. And it's like, God damn, bitch, like they press you that much. Oh, a joke pressed you that much. Go watch the episode because that's yeah. not what we said. You and, know, that, like, and that's just yeah. it. it. Any platform, any reel, any TikTok you post. Is to get your attention to go view the full thing. Clickbait. Talk to yeah. him. Yeah. It's, it's to go view the full thing. These people just hate us. Like, <laughs> that's why him. for us, what, what we answered is motivation, right? And that's one yeah. thing that's never, ever going to die. Mm. I want you to hear this 10, 15, 30 second clip. And if that moved you, then I want you to go and listen to the rest because there's, there's knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it's not about, you can listen to the motivational podcast. And it'll help you. You can go listen to a comic podcast and that will help you laugh and make you smile. Facts. That's also helping you. Mm -hmm. What is for me is for me. It may not be for you. And what is for you, it may not be for me, but it is what it is. Yeah. It, everybody's entitled to That's why there's so many different ventures and platforms because not everybody is in the same. Yes, it is saturated. There's a lot of people, but there's only one you. 
Mm. So, so <clears throat> we got to stop trying to compare and contrast and, no. and literally mimic somebody else when in reality, if you mimic somebody else, you're not yourself, bro. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Fucking kiss somebody's ass because they're this way and you want to be that way? No, bro, yeah, be no, you. Because so. mm -hmm. when you, my biggest thing is if I see you on online and you're this way, and then I meet you in person and you're totally different, <coughs> I got a big issue now. Yeah, now I'm like, do I can't fuck with you? Like in person, I can't fuck with you. How can I go watch what you do and support you when in person you're you're not that person? Yeah, yeah. and they're just like, like we had a comment one time, bro, because they didn't come and say hi to us. Mm -hmm. Like we're we're at an event, we're there chilling, bro. I got my son. Mm -hmm. I'm my man. I have yeah. my son. And I have your son. Somebody came, bro, and then we're literally they just saw us, and then they got out to some. They got back to one of the people that comes with us. Like, hey, they said they saw you, but they didn't say what's up to you because you guys look like you guys are big time now. Like you guys are. Uh, you guys think you're facts, the shit. Facts though. I was like. Damn, bro, that's kind of crazy because it's kind of true. Because, yeah, you're the shit. <laughs> yeah. like, it's kind of true. Hell yeah, I but love that. We had people that came and, yo, what's up, bro? How you doing? They came and said, bro, what's up? Let me let me have a conversation. Like, we did, we went to the event last weekend, bro. We literally had people come up to us. Hey, bro, we watch your show. Do you mind if we take a, yeah, hell yeah, fool. Let me take sick. a picture. That's sick. But it's let also me. about respect, too, though. If you're with your son, it's also about knowing when to say what's up, too. Yeah, but um, he didn't like do anything. Maybe, he, yeah, 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 that's why. He didn't do and shit. My, my yeah. thing is, I'm going to always handle myself the way I need to. So even yeah. if I have my kids, if it's just us, I'll most respect how you doing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you respect because I want it back. And if you don't give it to me, you better walk away. That's yeah. crazy, like, how people are that twisted in their fucking mind that they'll make that assumption, like, Oh, I'm not gonna approach them because they look yeah. like they're too cool. Like I was probably that's, eating or some shit. You gotta know. work. No, we, we, you drink a beatbox. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was at the beat. I was, I was fucking oh, downing yeah, a beatbox. Yeah, yeah. You probably had like three bitches on you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but I'm saying like that's like that's crazy how twisted people are in their brain. They they just assume all oh, these guys are dicks. Like nah, bro, say what's up, come through. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like what, what's the worst that could happen, bro? Is this? Mm -hmm. They diss you. After that, you know how to maneuver. Yeah. And you're, you're a man of your word, by the way, too. I, I, I'm sure that people who, who watch this shit and, and uh, know who you are, you, you are like a man of your word. Um, you're who you are. You know, like I know you outside of this shit. I know yeah. Dylan outside of this shit. You guys are the same fucking people that I watch here. Yeah. And, I, and I like that. The reason I stuck around and actually watched your shit is because you guys are you guys are who you guys are here. Like yeah. when you guys bring guests, it's cool to watch you guys talk to like <clears throat> people who I assume you kind of aspire to be like the millionaires and the shit. Like yeah. you guys aspire to be that. So when you guys are talking to him, I'm like, oh, that's like. That's the homie. The D that's the homie Dylan. Yeah. Wondering how. That's the homie Luis. Not the Dusko. Not the yeah. Toast to Life fucking cast. It's like yeah, the homie Dylan. This we are talking to this guy. We're, we're we have two different names, right? We have a Toast to Life, and then we have Dusko and Dylan, mm -hmm. and then there's Luis, bro. We're all tied into the same shit. They're all buff though. Yeah. Uh, they're all not one of us. Yeah. <laughs> one yeah. of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny got his ass. <laughs> that was good. I thought. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. They like the same shit. drinks. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. what this is. It's true though, bro. Straight up, like when I see your clips, I don't say like, "Oh shit, he's saying some shit I haven't heard." No, like it's literally you, bro. Like it's literally what yeah. I always hear. It's like it's shit that you tell us. It's funny because you're telling at the these, gym. You're telling Johnny, these millionaires you that like these fucking things that you like learn, and I'm like, I already heard this shit. He's telling me this at the gym before. Yeah. <laughs> We've had this conversation, which yeah. is cool because like, it's you. Like my, it goes my back thing to is. You. It sometimes it does get repetitive because, bro, there are answers and things that we that needs to be said. Mm -hmm. Like I'd rather me tell you personally than you hear from somebody else. Like if if you did something out of out of pocket, I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. bro, like, so I'm like, I gotta be real. Mm -hmm. But how you said, bro, I know the platform you guys are in. Hey, you guys, you guys are sincere people that are literally making and trying to make it in this world that everybody inspires. I tell everybody. Mm -hmm. No matter what you, your opinion is on this, if you don't like it, it's just not for you. But I got to keep going. Yeah, I got to keep true. going. My, my journey, our story will be for somebody else that needs it. Mm -hmm. Not for you. You're the one that wants to be sitting down depressed over there in the corner and not getting no help. That's on you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help people that are ready to be helped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, bro, we get <clears throat> messages, bro. Like, just as much as you guys get messages about your fans that love your content, we get different ones. We get, bro, this clip saved my life. Yeah. Yo, you guys got me out of depression. You guys got me. You guys motivated me to mm -hmm. do this. And and obviously, I think we we both get the type of message where you guys inspired me to start my own podcast. Yeah. 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 I'm like, hell yeah, go for it, bro. Inspired me to start eating yeah. ass. Oh yeah. Like yeah. Shit like that. We get those. Yeah. Eating ass, toxics. 
Yeah. I'm like, Dougsy yeah. Cat told me this. What should I do? I like, I don't know, bro. My baby daddy fucked my aunt. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bro. Wow, I get shit. crazy shit, bro. Yeah, but but it, get our DMs are a little different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I yeah, also yeah, get those sure. DMs. I've gotten a bunch of DMs. I even got one the other day that was like, you guys have, like, you guys' podcast helped me get out of a dark space, like, mm. for months. Like, that's I've gotten bro. people literally be like, I wanted to end my life. And yeah. you guys literally, him, I'm like, damn, yeah. that's crazy to me that yeah. comedy did I've that. I've been on my, uh, motor- I, I, when I was younger, I was on my motivational, like, Shit too, you know, like I like I was just searching for everybody who was like motivational, like because I, I, I probably now looking back, I probably was like fucking sad about shit, so I was looking for motivation, right? So like now, I was consuming it, and you know, once you consume shit, like your, your recommended was like your, your other shit. And this is back when I was probably like eighteen, like you know, like around there. Yeah. So I, I would fuck, I would be on my grind on like trying to find the most motivational shit, but I would, but I would spew it back to people without actually doing the shit myself. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I like, and that's the only thing I don't like. I don't really fuck with. If y'all ain't in the gym, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was over here, two hundred fifty. I'm not fucking again the gym, like, bro. Like I'm over here telling okay. Gazelle how to lift. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you were doing. You were doing that. You were doing that. You were doing it wrong though. But yeah, 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 yeah. He stopped uh, swinging his back though. For real though, like alcoholism is a fucking problem, bro. You guys really need to fucking. Yeah, but like, it's also drinking water. You guys need to relax. But it's also life. Uh, hey, shotgun, shotgun. Sure, sure. Mine's on the ground. Yeah, y'all need a little bit of this. I'm almost done with this yeah, shit. Yeah, you're wild. <laughs> but yeah, like, I was on, I was on my motivation. If anybody has connections to, to dope, like AA meetings from a uh, guy. Yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> hey, look, like, nah, 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 bullshit nah, aside, <laughs> bullshit aside, AA meetings are, are fake, bro. I was the, I was the only hey, motherfucker. I was the only motherfucker that brought alcohol that day. Like uh-huh. these motherfuckers ain't alcoholics. Like, bro, if you go to a meeting, you bring alcohol. Dude, like, what the fuck? Dude, my fucking friend had that shit too. Hey, can you say that again? I'm gonna use it. <laughs> <laughs> my, like my friend, he had that shit too. He went to AA meeting. This that? real shit, and he was like, "A dude was like, hey, you guys trying to get beers after?'" <laughs> he was like, "Bro, uh, well, he said the one guy came drunk every fucking meeting." He's like, "But that guy's an alcoholic. Wait, what he belongs here." Huh? Yeah. What were you in? No, no, my friend went. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. a, a friend of mine yeah. went. Uh, I'm not yeah, dumb yeah, enough yeah. to get caught. The no, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, no, but, I, um, I was on my almost shit like that, bro. I was like on my uh, wave of that. So I, I see how, like. So a clip like yours could like do that to somebody, right? Like, yeah. because now it's easier. Because back then it was just like YouTube and shit like that, where I would just find the motivational shit, and it's like it's like thirty minutes on a motherfucker like motivating you to get through a workout, mm-hmm. whatever it was. Yeah. But now it's like, as soon as you look, at, have one motivational clip like your toast. Like since I ha- since we actually follow you guys. Yeah. Like we'll get other fucking uh, podcasters that are motivational and shit. And I'm like, oh okay, you know, like it's easy to fall into that lane, but also like, uh, in the same realm of the. How you were saying comedy does the same thing. Yeah. Or like if you're looking for motivation to do shit, sometimes you're super sad and you just want to laugh. You know yeah. what I mean? True. And like yeah. and that's where that's where yeah. some us motherfuckers like like us yeah. come in yeah, and make you laugh, yeah. you know, and, and that shit. It is- to, I, to give you guys your, oh sorry, my bad, bro. Go ahead, fool. Hey, bro, we, hey, it's your podcast, bro. We, we can, we can get down. I've been wanting to get down with you, bro. <laughs> we didn't get Sorry, down. I get down with Johnny <laughs> right now, bro. <laughs> you shouldn't want to get fucked. Hey, put the gloves on. <laughs> we need gloves. Um, to to give you guys your flowers and I like I, I've, I've said I fuck with you guys a lot. And um, the non-filter you guys have, bro. Um, a lot of I wouldn't go fuck. Uh, uh, exactly. No, that's that's <laughs> good. Obviously, uh, if I, I, it was the first time I meet you, bro. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. off the camera, he was the same fucking way. Like you were telling us. <laughs> delinquent. Um, delinquent. Is, I fuck with Ugly. you. Bro. I fuck delinquent. with you. Um, Ugly. Yeah. Skinny. But um, Style. I feel like a lot of people on Cute. social media, a lot of a lot of people in general, bro, just put on filters and filters yeah. on top of filters Thanks. to be able to accommodate what social media is and. Mm. Put themselves out there like that, mm-hmm. and you guys have no fucking. Fl- you guys don't give a shit, bro. Damn, and man. I respect it a lot because it takes boss to have that, bro. Yeah. It takes fucking boss. To have that. Well, what the, like, For me, yeah. man, I, I, I just love. <laughs> like, no, I think you're doing yeah. The you. Johnny interview is going crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, the Johnny they motivate me to crazy, speak up, man, because <laughs> I can never speak on the podcast. Uh, no. no, hey, by the way, thank you, bro. That was, yeah, no, yeah, I appreciate that. Man. That's what you're talking about. By the way, I love seeing you more on the podcast. I remember I told us we like the first yeah, time. Yeah, remember yeah, the first time you came around? I was like, you should have Dylan more out, yeah. man. I'm, I'm pretty shy unless you get some alcohol on me, bro. Uh, I got you. I'll, I'll get at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take blame for this shit. Yeah, I'm going to say it was TikTok. Okay. It was TikTok. Fuck that. All right. So, <laughs> so we back. Yeah, we're here for oh, the yeah. shit. I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> Watch your bed is in. Damn. Damn. Hey, we make it. I'm trying to do one of those singing videos with you guys. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah. The ones yeah. you guys be doing? Oh, you down? Don't, yeah. don't uh, meet. Just Mariah Carey in this bitch? Yeah, say gotta... something. I'm giving up on you. Some suicide boys in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Off the All motherfucking right, so drugs. I, I got to bring this up and I got to say because <clears> it, it's this is what our channel is based off of. Yeah. Have you guys ever. 
personally gone through depression, Damn. any sort of anxiety, and, and that's. Let him go. Anybody else? Let him go. I, I'm a good cuddler, bro. Come through. Come. Um, I'll cuddle you. Yeah. Uh, I I feel like me personally, I've uh, I I still go through it. Um, for me personally, I uh, it's kind of like a uh, it comes and goes. So it's just at a random. I can literally, and it's a personal thing. It's not even like what's around me that makes me depressed. Like I'll be kicking on my homies. We're fucking barbecuing and playing music. I want my girl, and I still feel it. But I just like <clears throat> but you can't really do it. You feel like it. a certain emptiness that you have. Um, maybe like uh, okay, like have you seen Harry Potter where they fucking have the dementors and shit, and they make like them just sad. like I feel like that. Can like it, just like everything's just like, like energy's being sucked from you. You feel like flying through the wind. Fucking yeah, right. like I I just feel like it's just empty. Like I'm you just feel like dark. Bro. Like you just feel like just I don't know, just a wave of uh, not sadness but just somber. Just like you know. Okay. So how, do, how how the hell do you get out of that? Um, How do you maneuver through it? I learned to just put, fucking suck it up and push through it. Um, uh, back then, I was just... Now what I do is I just feel it and move on. I feel it, but don't fucking... Back then, I play sad music and fucking prolong that bitch, and it's stupid. Talking like, like you just play sad shit, and you just fucking... And that, now what I do is, like, for me, like, music is my therapy. Like, music gets me fucking... Uh, in a better mood. So now I, I get you, bro. Nah. I, get, I get what you're we're, saying, brother. By the way, we're, we're, this is us like one on one. I know we're, all, we're, we're shooting this yeah. shit, so we're like, making jokes. But when it's one on one, like we'll talk to this food, bro. And and the jokes are fucking out the window and yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's the one who who he's he's pretty honest about it. Um, with us, like as a group and shit, yeah. and this motherfucker will break down to us and we'll fucking be like, "Hey, bro, you gotta do I this." I got shit this, to do. Yeah. <laughs> Are you almost done? Like, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I don't know, cause, cause personally, bro, I, I can't really. Wait, I, were you I, done? No, but go on. I'm never gonna be done. Go on. <laughs> He's like, you, you guys always interrupt. So I'm, I'm, the fuck I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna be done. I'm gonna talk about you though. I'm gonna no. talk about you. No, it's cool. <laughs> Wait, so, He's no, like, I, I'm, I'm just gonna right. say what you're saying. I'm about to cry, but it's cool. My next sentence was gonna be personally, I, I don't, I empathize with him. But I don't understand it because I don't know what he's going through. Yeah. Does that make sense? I've never really gone through, like, depression. I have days where I feel sad, but I don't know what he's feeling. So I can just empathize with him. That's all I can do. And you know why I try we to don't? give him, like, consejos. Mm -hmm. But, bro, he like, I don't know. Like, what can I, in reality, all I can do is just tell him shit. You know? Mm -hmm. And then when you're trying to say Harry Potter, bro, you're not making it easier for me to understand you. <laughs> yeah. And I've like, never seen that You're shit. a wizard, Harry? I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. Like, yeah. I, I just can't, um... I can't describe it. For me, all I ask is just hear me out. That's it. I right. just don't like to bring it up because then it makes shit sad, and I don't like that shit. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to really kill the mood for everybody. Like we're all kicking. I'm not gonna be. Hey, I'm I'm depressed right now. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Like what the yeah. fuck? Like what's going on? People <laughs> just feel like, am I doing something wrong? It's not against anybody. Yeah. It's he, me. He's though. good at he's good at reading a room. Every, right? every, but there is always a time and place for it. Like if you're for depression, if you're yeah, you could yeah. you could always talk about. Hey, I'm hey, I'm gonna talk about depression. Hey, bro, hey, not right now. Yeah. <laughs> Later. <laughs> He's just at a Dodger game. Hey, bro, <laughs> I'm kicking her right now. I'm, yeah. I'm chilling. So I'm about to eat. Me. It's, I think we've yeah. all had those moments, bro. You you're probably how you said you're out with your boys. You're out at somewhere, yeah. and then you're trying to enjoy everything. And in reality, it's like, damn, bro, I'm really fucking hurting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I and I don't know what it is. And in reality, sometimes we do know. We just don't want to pay attention to it. And that's when I ask for another shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I fucking fact. True. Mean, breathe, breathe. Just push fucking it push it down, bro. Well, let, well, I mean, let's talk about that though, because that like the jokes that we talk about. Yeah. Like every, it's all just a mask, not mask, but it's a way of coping okay, with off. the sh with the shit that we're dealing with, Loki. Like all, all the jokes that we do. <laughs> what are you a pussy or something? Yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> loser. Look, this suck, guy goes through shit. <laughs> I suck. I suck mad cock. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah, like, hey, by that's the way, that's our whole podcast. Yeah, our, yeah, yeah. our whole podcast is like, we got you. We're going through shit. And we're just like, <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you, a bitch? Yeah. Everything's funny. Yeah. Everything's, so, everything's okay. I can't yeah. wait till this all comes out. An innocent bystander. It's gonna be sick, dude. She said, bro, like some bitch. We were at a in a sauna. <laughs> some bitch. Yeah. Some bitch, bro. Yeah. And we're inside the sauna. And like, first of all, I'm really talking that motherfucker. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Shout out everybody outside. I like his movies. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm gonna get his autograph. The soccer one was my favorite. <laughs> 
But we're in a sauna. <laughs> we're in LA, but I don't know. I don't know this girl, right? I don't fucking know this girl. And she just starts telling me about like her baby daddy and all this shit. I'm just like, damn, you really need a fucking therapist, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, what I'm talking about. Like, you should have let her talk and be like, that'll be 27 an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. Right. So I said two dollars a balloon. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, you want a refill or not? <laughs> not it's cause, Ten no, for a jumbo. Dude. Hey, we get a bad rap for that shit though too. Huh? Like we don't talk about our feelings. Mm -hmm. It's just um, we just we. Wait, I mean, you have a whole podcast on it, so you do. But I, I feel like personally, obviously, um, most of us don't speak on our feelings. Yeah, and um, it's, it's not because we're not comfortable with you guys. Because <clears throat> I'm very comfortable with him, bro. I'm very open with him. Hey yo. And um, hey hey whoa 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 hey no <laughs> chill <laughs> chill. I bet you are. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. <laughs> Uh, what do you think? We my pants get comfortable what, with what do you think my pants read, huh? Holy yeah. um, shit. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, but I gotta say, <laughs> you guys fucking distract me. No, nah, bro, you're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um, Maneuver through this. Dude. I feel like, I, I feel like, obviously, I've gone through depression. I'm going through depression right now. Yeah. Oh, shit. Nice. Um, <laughs> and um, you could, there, bro. there's, I don't know if you can relate <laughs> with me, but there's a point where you just don't feel anything, bro. Yeah. There's a point where <clears throat> you, you feel sad, but. You just you're like, what, what the I fuck do? is going on right now? Like, mm -hmm. I can't even explain what I'm feeling at the. At hey, you think yeah, what you have though is uh is like clinical depression? No. Or you think it's because of what's going on yeah, in your I life? I feel like I have a lot of things going on in my life right now, bro. Oh, okay. And a lot of hard stuff going in my life right now. Um, <clears throat> Thoughts and prayers. Today, today, but well, that's why you guys see me very mellow right now because I'm going through it right now. Yeah, huh? yeah. And I'm trying to keep up with you guys. I thought it was a hangover. But no. Up. That it's, too. Uh -huh. the, the the hangover cured uh, when we drank the pita. It's temporary, well, right? Can I ask you something? But like, I don't want you to get any offended. And if you're not comfortable go it, sharing, go for it. Go for it. like you ever try to kill yourself? Whoa, um, hey -oh. nah, yeah. Um, I've thoughts? said it. I've said it. We have had a podcast before. Just Listen, him and I. Bro. I'm trying to give him the fucking clip. And, uh, <laughs> you, you want the content or not? <laughs> yeah, well, you can cut up. All right, so you're offing yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've I've, I've tried. Um, we'll say harming myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, wait, I've, wait. I've tried it, and um, for some reason. You know, miracle of God, bro. I'm here because yeah. I was not supposed to be here. And I'm asking yeah. because I've actually tried to kill myself yeah. before too. And to be honest, for sure, we're not gonna talk about me. <laughs> all right, it's my time. <laughs> you try to kill <laughs> Could it be me? You had your chance to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, moving on. Bro. So, yeah. always making about yourself. Dylan's going through some shit, man. Yeah, selfish. You got over it, obviously. Shut the fuck up. If you were a guy, we just have one less well, mic to buy. Exactly. No, but 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 I I, re I relate to you, bro. It gets to a point where you're just obviously you're not thinking about others. You're thinking about yourself at that moment, and yeah. it's not fair to others for what you do at that point. Because mm -hmm. obviously you're just being. It's not that you're being selfish, but you're thinking about yourself and that there's no way out or anything. Mm -hmm. But obviously, there's other people that love you. There's other people that care about you. Oh yeah, that's facts. And you're you're not just feeling yourself, bro. You're disappointing and feeling other people. How old were you when you when you oh, first tried to self I'm twenty. I'm twenty three right now. I was twenty one. I was gonna hit twenty one. Damn, that was, was not even that long ago. Wait, what did you? Nine plus ten, man. I was like well, fourteen. Take, take us through that moment, though. Like, take us through the feeling that <clears throat> that you were in. Give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, like, I was like 14 and 15, around there. And uh, I was in high school. And I just, things weren't right at home. Like, I'm from the hood and shit. So, like, there's all kinds of shit happening around you, you know? And there was just, like, stuff stemming from the household. My mom wasn't getting along with, like, my stepdad, you know? They were going to go through, like, a divorce, you know? And it was tough, and I was a kid, and I just didn't know how to process it all. So I remember uh, grabbing, going to the kitchen, and I got a knife, a big ass knife. And my grandma, she's cocinando, but she's not even tripping. <laughs> she's in her phone, own fucking world, and she's like, just, I don't oh, know what she's gonna make. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. basically, oh, okay. you know. And um, I'm just like, fuck it. Like I, I had blinders on the whole time. I just knew what she was doing, but. As if I can walk myself to that moment again, I'm literally just have blinders on. And I grab a kitchen knife. And she could kind of tell that I was crying, you know? Because, you know, you after you stop crying, like, you're like, <laughs> right? Why are so your eyes red? I'm high, leave me alone. Like, crying session and stuff. And then I go back to the room and I close the door and she noticed that the knife was gone because she, she was going to use it. And uh, she, walked, uh, she walked to my room 
and I was there, and I was like, I don't know why. This is how you know I was just like a stupid ass fucking teenager because I had like my last song queued up. Like I'm gonna play like I'm gonna play like only God could judge me. And shit. <laughs> you know, Damn, like I like I was you walked in, it was freaking delicious playing it. Yeah, <laughs> wrong playlist, wrong playlist. Drop it like it's hot. You know, like I I had a song queued up, bro. And you know, who's hitting the Dougie and shit? <laughs> with the, with the knife. You're gonna go crazy. You're gonna yeah. use that song? Oh, this, this is what we do. Yeah. What a lame. Yeah. What a lame. So, but, <laughs> he can't even shuffle it. Yeah. They so, and I had the knife and like, I had it on like my wrist and like I barely put like pressure on it and my grandma knocked on the door. Fuck. And she's like, David, what are you doing? I mean, dreams, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> dreams, what are you doing? Dreams, what are you doing? Dreams, how you been? Uh, <laughs> so you're on my squad, but, uh, She knocked on the door, she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I didn't say anything. And she knocked harder, because she started to worry, you know, like, you know, as a grandma does, you know. And uh, my mom was always occupied with school, so my grandma <laughs> was the closest thing to being a mom to me in my head. Because me and my mom didn't really get along. And, at least at the time. And I just remember opening the door, and she's like, she got mad at me, but she had tears in her eyes. And she's like, you better not do anything fucking stupid. You know, like, I had to basically take a moment to understand what I was doing and the shock that I was going through because she's dealing with it in, like, an older generation mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're just sad, you know, like, this type of stuff. And I'm like, I don't know how to tell her. I don't know how to communicate these feelings of, like, I don't want to be here anymore. I, f like, I feel like um, once you're you're in that in, in that time in when you're obviously gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, you're on autopilot, bro. You're not even the, your emotions are gone. Everything is gone. You're not thinking about anything. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's like waking up, own, bro. It's it's your <coughs> when you your, can snap out of it. It's like waking up. A yeah, little bit. if bro, if if um if I can snap, if if I could have snapped out of it and stuff like that, I I I would have. But it's it's not a choice. I, I feel like at that moment because it's just that's the only option you think you have. Right, mm -hmm. it's you know? a, it's and it took a moment to kind of process everything that was going down, you know. Yeah. And I remember the song, which is actually how I became a rapper, low key, as corny as it fucking sounds. Is actually how I became a rapper. By the way, Heaven on Earth streaming on all platforms. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the numbers are suffering. YouTube. Please go stream now. But <clears throat> it was like that moment I decided to become a rapper because after that I just sat there in silence for a long ass time. Music was playing, you know? And it was one of those moments where it's like, the music, you finally, you always hear it, but you don't understand it. Yeah. And it was this Tupac song that came on. It wasn't, um, it was called Hold Your Head. It wasn't Keep Your Head Up, everybody confused it with that, like God. No, it's, it's completely different, it's called Hold Your Head, if you guys ever wanna listen to it. And it was this guy, and it's, Tupac, I, I looked at him as a rapper, but in that song, I looked at him as a guy. You're going through this kind of the same shit that I'm feeling, you know? Like, you know you you feel like you're going to die, like, yeah. essentially at that age, you know? And uh, it was like, I want to change someone's life because not only did my grandma change my life by doing what she did, but he changed my life, too, because I was like, I understand what you're trying to say. And I'm like, I want to try and change people's lives, whether that's making people laugh or making shitty music that nobody streams. Stream Heaven on Earth is on all platforms. Spotify, Apple Music. <laughs> Don't do it, it's ass. But that really helped me <clears throat> to kind of cement, to f at least put me on the path to try to find myself. Because mm -hmm. I didn't know who the fuck I was. <clears throat> to this day, I'm still figuring out who the fuck I am. But it led me to the path of at least, hey, here's a walkway at least, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So what, what <clears throat> to leave us here, <coughs> This pod has, has been funny, it's been different, it's been everything that I literally expected. Woohoo. Clap, motherfucker. Yay for suicide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I try to do it too, fool. Come on. Uh, we all can't can be successful. Yeah, 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 you can say it. But if I said it, it's different. I yeah. I was I never that down bad, bro. Hell Look, no, I'm just, I just want to say, like, I know we're, we're all fuck. We that's the thing. We joke around and shit, but I don't want to take. I don't want to take anything away from what Dylan and Johnny and and James were saying. Yeah. Um. Think think about it like this for like for if there's a viewer out there who may be thinking of taking their fucking life, we have these three amazing people here around us now. Imagine a world for 
at least like selfishly, you know, for Duno, I mean, Duno, Dusko, Lalo, and myself, like, if we didn't have these motherfuckers in our life, you know, yeah. think about how that, that'd be different. So you... This podcast wanted to go. Fact. Yeah. <laughs> so like, if there's anybody at home who's listening, at, listening to this and who's ever had those thoughts or have those, has those thoughts right now, please don't. There's fucking yeah. people around you who need you, who love you, who are going to... Who their life their lives are never gonna be the same if you're not in this on this planet. Mm-hmm. So, so the the jokes, you know, we fuck around, but oh, that's I think that's a message that yeah. we should, you know, look should the, really the, the way that I take it is um I, I never try to do that stuff, but um for me I took it as in at first, like I said, I was just kinda like got in my feels for now. It's more of like a I just follow that shit. Like for mm-hmm. me, I just take it and I accept it. And it's like, it's a part of me. I've accepted it. It's me. It's like your leg. You can either like let it chill there and fucking be there. Or you can move with it and you're changing that shit. I'm mm-hmm. lifting my leg on me. Like it's a part of me. Depression is part of me. And I either run with it or I let it consume me. Mm-hmm. So I'd rather just fucking run with that shit and move on about my fucking day. You ain't running nowhere, yeah, bro. So you you right? <laughs> I'm running jack. I'm hungry. Yeah. But straight I'll up, wait. like, that's how I take, if you can take from that, like, you guys can take from that, anybody listening, like, I just run with it and it's mean, I, I try to find ways to help me with therapy. For me, it's music. Yeah. And, and uh, I, yeah, I just, and to, well, to, to go off of what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I'm next. Like I said, like I said, I'm sorry about that, man. Like I said, like I said before, you have to go through those feelings. You can only run so much with that on you, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna have to go through those feelings, yeah. and you gotta obviously, face it. You got you can have to face it. Bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's 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 but that's why I just uh, accept it, feel it, go on about my day. You know, there is, so <coughs> so that, that means once you feel it, and <coughs> that means you're not running with that cargo anymore. You just, yeah. you dropped it off and you're running free now. Yeah, mm. we just I went. Can't. We just put that video though. Like, oh. if that's crazy, I called it, but okay. That's because we did the, that's two shot he, he was talking about legs, so I'm, I was like, all right, oh, I got shit. three of them, so why not just talk? I'm looking at that one. Two shot That's two shot Lalo for you. I'm about to get four. So we just posted a video, and I'm not going to my, thing, <laughs> <laughs> my thing is nah. that self doubt that you have, that you're too scared to face that nightmare that you're going through and that problem that you're facing, <clears throat> you can always go to battle with it, and you will win. Maybe it's not at the beginning when you really thought it was going to happen, but don't be afraid, bro. Like, your mind and believing in, in the power above and you yourself are capable of getting over all this. Bro, I'm in the ninth round. That shit fucking me up. Hey. <laughs> that motherfucker got hands, Just, just, make, it, just hey. make it to the 12th. Make it to the 12th. Yeah. Make it to the 12th. Hey. Hey. Go, you just start clinching, bro. Just start clinching. Fuck it. So it's cool. It, I got this in the corner. It's just that, bro. Like, go to battle. Go to war. What's, what are you afraid of? Yeah. Once you do that, you're going to surpass it. Now you're going to be able to talk about this feeling and emotion to somebody else that is old, like is lost. Mm-hmm. Right? We're not here to talk about depression and be like, yeah, if I'm depressed, we don't get out of it. Oh, we can't shit. win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we're here to, hey, you motherfucker, you can't win. You can't be happy. We're all going to have our moments where we just don't have that complete happiness. But, yo, the moments of happiness that you do go through and you have, they outweigh that sad moment you ever had. And it's like, fuck, how you said, if you're thinking about not being here, bro. Imagine all the people that do love you, and imagine all the people that need you in their life because that's why they're alive. Also, mm-hmm. it's like, bro, like, take yeah. your time. Like, we're not in rush. We're not in a rush. <coughs> Be yeah. patient. All I wanted to say was, oh, you're good now. Because it was my turn. Because yeah, it was yeah, my yeah, turn. Yeah. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wanted to thank these three for sharing that because you know that is something that a lot of men yeah. don't share shit. But like, kudos to you guys for sharing it. Um, but the uh, I don't think I've I might have been depressed. I'm not sure, but. I have felt the highest of highs, and I've have felt some lowest of lows. And then, yeah. if it comes to depression, I'm trying to trying to see what he's saying, yeah. it comes to a point where you're just like in a state like of kind of like numbness, bro. Like everything that you do, you just go through the motions. Like you really don't have like those feelings, right? So you don't really, even if you have a great day, it doesn't feel great. It just it just feels like another day, right? Yeah. But if if you uh. If you hold on long enough and if you fight every day, because every day is a battle for like the people who really actually like, deal with it every single day. Yeah. And every day is a battle and you win. I can guarantee you that those highest of highs are fucking beautiful and they're amazing. And they're worth uh, it. And they're worth it. And you're worth it to 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 um to feel those feelings. That's all I was gonna say about that. Thanks. That was good, that was good. <clears throat> I'll be spitting. I really be uh, out here, bro. Which one of you guys is gonna close this out with like a motivational? Fucking quote. Everybody, 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 get a quote. 
Go ahead, James. Go James. Who, who are we going? So when I was young. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Comeback. The Comeback of Dreams. Uh, that was uh, for the episode we did, remember? How yeah, you say yeah, that? Yeah, Come yeah. on, bro. You remember? Yeah. I, I just want to say. Tag, I motive, what, what, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> What the fuck is a, this? A yeah. quote to leave the people. A quote to yeah. leave the people. Yes. This has been an amazing podcast. Yeah. People saw your guys' soft side, but then your dumb side and happy yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Especially the dumb side. Yeah, right. facts. That's fact, Mookie. Uh, I just want to say to all the fat bitches, rub your clits. <laughs> if you're lit, rub your clits to us. Yeah, that's right. You know? Mm. That'd be the quote that I want to leave off. Mm. I love that. Actually, I live by that. Yeah. No, let, that's let me switch this shit up because it's not going to go the way I want it. <laughs> If you're talking to... I could be more relational, fool. <laughs> more relational, fool. Yeah. I could do it, fool. I could be your more relation. Sure. Yeah. Every, more relation. Something you can tell your younger self, your 14-year-old self. Yes. Rub your clit. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. All right, Don't restart, eat that burger. Lock the door, though. Lock the door. <laughs> Don't eat that uh, burger. Lock the door. This is a lock the door. <laughs> no, my my door had no lock. Uh, that's true. That's no, facts. bro. Uh, I just want to Go ahead, Drew. Talking to your 14-year-old self. Um... It's going to be okay. And also, as an adult, be the person that you wanted when you were a kid. Damn. 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 Love it. Love that. Love because it. Now, if, you don't, if you don't top this. Rub your clit. Top this. <laughs> if I can tell something to my 14-year-old self, and I can't make any jokes, all right? Yeah. Hard style rare with it. Deja de jalarle el pescuezo al ganso, cabrón. He look, he's spitting, bro. He's tired. That shit's purple. <laughs> <laughs> that was not spitting anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> just spitting out air and shit. Just huh. You ever bust that shit goes <laughs> <laughs> shooting blanks? That's all I do. You ever bust that shit's not sticky anymore? <laughs> <laughs> what the? That shit just clear. That shit just water as fuck. <laughs> that shit only like two drops come yeah. out. What the? Stop drinking yeah. Red Bull and Mountain Dew. It's stupid. Why, why do I feel all that pain when nothing comes out? <laughs> That really made me feel better about myself, <laughs> yeah. actually. Let's leave it off. Look, <laughs> little 14 year old gazelle. <laughs> fool. Yahweh. <laughs> you fucked up, fool. <laughs> you made all the wrong choices, dog. <laughs> I'm not, like, stop mouthing it. This is me from the future for you. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do this. You're again. fucking up, fool. <laughs> oh, my son. Listen to your parents, <laughs> Pendejo. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hey, listen to your parents, 14 year olds. Little motherfuckers know what's best for you. Right. That ass. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to keep it a stack. <coughs> Shut your Ten Commandment ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your Ten Commandment. Bro, if I wouldn't... I would, on your phone. If I wouldn't listen, would listen, listen to my parents, I'd be crushing it right now. No, you wouldn't. No cash. No, you wouldn't. Uh, no, Where we at, Lalo? Uh, I have a quote. I don't really have anything to say to my younger stuff, cool, but I got cool. a quote. What's the quote? It's, um, when life gives you lemonades, make orange juice. That's beautiful. <laughs> make orange juice. I'm like trying Creative. to. We're putting the juice. mathematical equations here. I'm trying to fucking. You if fucking if, if it out. life's giving you a way to fuck up your whole fucking life, don't make lemonade because everyone's expecting you to make lemonade with lemonade. Make orange juice. Do something Be creative. Else. Be creative. Do, take oh shit. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, he actually oh, redeemed oh, himself oh. with yeah. that shit, bro. There you go. Hey, that was a good one. No, I know what I I'm saying. Like a, I felt like it was racist, though. Yeah, low key. Because of Towards our people. Lemons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indigenous people. I just hate them, bro. Honestly, all of them. How the fuck did this get into indigenous people? What the fuck? Bro, watch episodes. We're not oh, going, okay, we're okay, not going okay, there. Okay, we're we're canceled, bro. Don't worry. All right, Dylan. Motivation. Uh, sh- I want to be your motivation. Motivation, fool. That's um, my balloon. How are you supposed to be my fucking fierro? I broke that bitch. <laughs> don't worry. Um, all right, all right. Um, I feel like sometimes... Uh, this is not a quote. This is not a quote at all. I feel like I got to say this because a lot of people have this on their mind, and I feel like it's not it's not healthy for them to do that. A lot of people are always wanting to be on top, wanting to get higher and stuff like that. But life is um, life is up and down, bro. Life is up, up and down. And obviously, if you go high, you're going to have to come low. And once you get low, bro, you got to understand why you're down there. You gotta, you gotta, once you get knocked out, bro, you got to sit down and understand why you're down there, bro. The mistakes you made, everything you did wrong, what could you do better this time? And obviously, you're going right back up. And what comes up comes down, bro. And I don't know if you guys, if you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this, but the little vital signals uh, on the on the thing. Yeah. In the hospital. Yeah. What it means when we're alive, it's up and down, up and down. And when you're gone, you're not doing anything in life. Obviously. Where was that? Where was just straight? You're a plane. But that's a vibrator on. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hear that? Shit? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like Johnny, but, um, excuse you. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's that simple, bro. When you're alive, when you're doing it. 
it's up and downs, bro. It's life is up and downs. Mm-hmm. And obviously, when you're stuck in one place, you're not doing shit. Exactly. Boom, you're dead, bro. Damn. Damn. Straight for you. Wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Johnny? Yeah. How, um, that was beautiful. I'll give you a little quote. I, I don't know word for word, all right? So I'm going to butcher this bitch. Always get but, another comment <clears throat> just in case you get hungry later. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. That's lucky facts. You're lucky spinning, yeah, Johnny. Yeah. I like that one. I like that one, Johnny. Yeah, I'll say, we'll, we'll just wrap it up right there. Well, what the fuck is a quote like a perfect storm it, like didn't make a, a great sailor or some shit, you know? Like, <laughs> like it's true. <laughs> what, what, what is it? What is it? You're not even going to get the quote, right? <laughs> You're talking about One Piece? What are you talking about? Well, have, you heard, have you heard that quote? Like, like, to be f- good in fucking life, you gotta struggle, bro. Oh, okay. You, oh, you, I, you, I see you, you, you gotta deal with going. shit. Like, you, if a, a calm sea d- d- didn't make a strong sailor, I think. Sure that know. shit right there, bro. <laughs> Facts. Like, bro, this, fucking spitting, Johnny. This podcast is growing, both of ours, and it wouldn't be here nice. if we just fucking had no issues. We oh. wouldn't know how to do that shit. Today, Diffo couldn't find the SD card. What do you do? Hey, 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 hey. That's behind the scenes. <laughs> so, we're always prepared for shit. Yeah, All right, look, look, yeah, yeah, he's prepared. But, like, up. that's the thing, bro. Like, you figure shit out. If you wouldn't know what the fuck to do, you'd be screwed and you'd probably give up. You wouldn't mm-hmm. know. But you got to deal with bullshit to fucking know what the fuck to do like with the same shit with depression bro like i figured my my way out to get through it like mm-hmm. i found music i was like cool i listen to music and mm. it mellows me out you, you gotta find ways that bro. you gotta show with that shit that's beautiful that's Johnny. That's beautiful i like that so we Why end this within a minute we got this let's do it stay in your own fucking lane oh shit. don't, Damn, don't try don't try to merge into somebody else's and lift somebody <laughs> else's that's beautiful. because in your own lane that shit's clear bro mm-hmm. so be you be happy Stay true to yourself. Podcast, it was a live. You already know. Where, where, where's your dreams, fool? Oh, Collab with Ponte Las Pilas. Uh-huh. Collab Ponte Las Pilas. Podcast Cheers. came through Ponte today. Pilas, homie. Cheers. Somebody wants some of my fuel. Show nope. the shirt. Show, show the shirt, shirt Luis. Yeah. Hey, have Luis try it. Johnny, show the shirt. Try, try it, bro. Try it. Try, try it. Food? No. <laughs> Hey, merch out now. It's not out now. Soon, soon. Hey, thank you for having us on, brother. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank 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 you.